Hello good people. How are you all doing today? I hope you are doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am also doing great. My name is Masi and I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you will be able to get notified. And for our returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate. Now, in today's video, I want us to look at this particular information we are given from Rebecca English. Now, so we are told that royal reporter Rebecca English let slip that after getting rid of Diana and putting her through hell, King Charles and his concubine Camilla actually live separately. They have separate lives except for royal engagements. Yet, when Harry said it last year in the cut, it's a problem. My people, you have heard that. That is basically the headline of this particular video. So, you know, we lost... Diana, who is the mother to Harry, so sad, but may she continue resting in peace. She is such a powerful lady who is so much inspiring. So, you know, that kind of a lady who raises kids in the best manner, you know, I just appreciate her even in her absence. So, this particular royal reporter is talking about the way Charles and Camilla are relating. So, you know, after the death of Diana, Actually, Charles took on Camilla as a wife. But you know, every other thing that happens behind the scenes, we are not able to get it in details because every time the media will look for something about Harry and Meghan so that we may not know whatever is happening in the royal family. And so we are told that Camilla and Charles are living separate lives, you know. But whenever there is a royal engagement, they just come out together and then it seems like everything is just okay. But honestly speaking, these people are not in the same, same household. And actually, let me read you a piece. There is this particular story. Okay. It's not even a whole article. It's just a comment from someone. So they said, by this side on many of his engagement is Queen Camilla, with whom he has a mutual understanding that they need their own space. The pair operate more as a team now than ever, but the couple still keep separate homes, friends and interests in what friends see as a sensible and pragmatic approach to the stresses of royal life. Returning from foreign tours, where they have often been living and working together 24-7, it's not uncommon to see his and her cars waiting on the runway to take them off to their respective country, bolt holes for some well-deserved downtime. Camilla will enjoy a few days with her family and friends, and Charles will put her in his beloved gardens on the farm. So my people, you see, these kind of marriages, I have never understand what can be the problem in the royal family because this particular story involving Camilla and Charles is also a common story to William and Kate, you know. My people, I have always talked of William and Kate having a very terrible marriage and it is so clear. It's not that. I am showing the hate that I have for them. Okay, away from me hating William and Kate. And you know, they have been living such a marriage which is not a straightforward one. And you know, one day we will get the full information and we, I will not be shocked that William and Kate are not in the same house. That will not be shocking to me. Because they always relate like enemies. Every other event that William and Kate are present. I have never seen any closeness. Instead, they are always sad at each other. And now, 
this story is just connecting with what we are told about Charles and Camilla. So I personally thought that Charles would love Camilla fully because he is his second wife or something. I just thought that. But now you have seen, even when they go for these royal engagements, when they go outside for the visits, just like the other one where they were in Kenya, you remember? So we are told that whenever they are arriving, there are two different cars, that is his and her car, waiting on the runway. So meaning they even can't share a car. They are not picked by one car in the runway after these visits. And you people, do you want to say that it is normal? Is it that I am viewing things in a different angle or something? Kindly. My people, I want you to just leave a comment about this. Tell me if it is normal to live such life. Because personally, I don't feel like I can manage it. Living a separate life and then you term someone as a husband. Probably Camilla is just benefiting from something in the royal family, but she really do not want to be in there. And you know, I just love the way that facts are just coming out slowly by slowly. This particular story I also related away from William and Kate's relationship, as I have said. Now, you know, there is the truth that is coming out from this particular story. You people, can you remember there is a part in the spare written by Harry and now it's coming to the public. It's now out here. We are confirming things. So Harry was, was not a fool as he wrote this statement. Let me read to you the statement, the part of the spare which was written by Harry so that you be able to know that the truth is in Harry. Harry is always talking his truth. I'm just quoting the lines that are involving this story because I just cannot finish reading to you the whole spare. But my people, I advise you to just get a spare book and read. That book is so much powerful. I am loving it. So Harry in his book wrote that most people that I know and many of my family, they are not able to walk and live together. Harry says this. So that is basically what Harry told us. He knows people who are not able to walk together. And he added that many of his family. Now look at it. I mean, like every other single moment, we are getting a truth of a certain story. It's coming out. And you people, you do not have to doubt anything that Harry is talking about because it is purely the truth. And even if these people will try to paint Harry a bad person, as they always say that Harry is exposing the secrets of the family, it is good because he is telling us the truth and we are now proving it slowly by slowly. You have seen that story. The way Charles and Camilla are living separate homes. And then we have William and Kate. Okay, we have not yet confirmed the residence of William and Kate, but as I have said, I will not be shocked that William and Kate are in separate households. I just can't be in shock. The way they are relating is literally speaking loud of them. And my people, we have nothing to do than trusting in Harry and going by his own facts that he is telling us. This person is so genuine and he will never lie to us. So my people, that is it for this story. I just wanted you to be aware of this mood that is in the royal family. I mean, what is the problem with their marriages? William and Kate, and then we have Charles and Camilla. This is something common in this family. I am even happy that Harry and Meghan are out of it. So my people, allow me to end this particular video at this point. Thank you so much for watching up to the end and kindly stay tuned for the next one. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also like this particular video. Until next time, it is a goodbye.